Yes, people, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the match reaction FA Cup semi final draw uh, and all sorts of a mad, mad afternoon at Stamford Bridge. Another crazy game. Chelsea running out 4 2 winners against Leicester, but truth be told, it was a pretty poor performance. Isn't it? There's no hiding from it. Sterling was absolutely horrendous. I honestly think the worst individual performance I've ever seen. Uh, Live, I thought it was absolutely shocking. Worst player on the pitch by a country mile, both teams included. Sanchez, dreadful as well. Um, but look, delighted for the likes of Trickle Maker and Medawake popping up with two goals at the end. Cole Palmer, superb again. Defensively, we've got problems though. That's the last four goals uh, for the last four games we've conceded. Uh, we've conceded two goals in two goals each of the last four games. That's not good enough. That shit's not sustainable. But as I've always said, the cup is about getting through. And we are through. We're in the in the hat for the semi-final draw. Um, and yeah, it's going to be Man City, Coventry, or Man United. Um, I mean, we know which we know what we want to do. We want to avoid Man City, but ultimately, you get what you're given in the semi-finals. Um, but yeah, look, today was it was stressful. You know, we two we go two up, and then we throw it away. The Sterling penalty miss as well. We're, I'm going to get onto all that. Um, and then carbon copy of the Leeds game yet again. Come out second half with dreadful. The own goal is ridiculous. Uh, I don't know what was going on with the own goal. Absolutely no idea what was happening with that own goal. And then Muradidi, uh, w w w fair play, was a good finish. But you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. And Potts just sat on the sidelines and did nothing and just watched it happen. Didn't make any changes. All reactive. But... Yeah, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to dive into it all. We're going to dive into it all, people. Um, so please make sure you are smashing the likes. Um, all, all that good stuff, guys. Run the likes up. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, 50 likes minimum target, as always. Um, and let's see what you lot are saying in the chat. Cole Palmer, 14 goals, 12 assists. Yeah, he's been brilliant for us. Superb uh, back kill assist for Chick Maker right at the end. Yep, Sterling was dreadful. Uh, off to Saudi first thing in the morning. Him and Sanchez get rid. Even Gallagher told him to take the pen. I'm going to get into all that. Yes, big up, big up. Bro, what, what, what do you mean it's not his job to score goals? No, he, he doesn't do that. He, he doesn't do anything. You know, he's he's playing as a forward. His job is to is, is to help the team in the attacking third, and he doesn't do that. Anyone's, anyone standing up for Sterling this afternoon needs to give their head a wobble. He was dreadful. There, there's no height. The, you, the I, I, I test doesn't doesn't fail you. Sterling was dreadful today. Absolutely dreadful. Anyone defending Sterling today is is completely off the money. Uh, I don't think Sassi was awful, but yeah, the, the own goal was was terrible. Um. He's a defensive midfield player. He's not in the team to score goals. I don't understand why people are looking for goals from from uh, from Caicedo. That that's that's not his role. How can you be looking for goals from Caicedo? Like, I mean, I mean, seriously. Um, for Chalaber, I actually don't mind Chalaber. I think he's all right. But yeah, Sanchez is is no good, and Sterling. I I would keep the sassy. Um, what about FA Cup draw? Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Um, they're not at all. That they're they're not they're shocking they're so bad I, I don't know I don't know why you think they're back they're 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 dreadful they are look they've done well today fair play to them they kept going but the football they've play, been playing this season is absolutely awful and yet somehow they still seem to win football matches um I, it doesn't make sense to me um mate he's not played since november he's having he's having no effect on them he came on as a sub today and it's his first match since november i, I, don't, I don't know what you're going on about um now if they cup draw yeah we need we need we want we want a good draw we want a good draw uh there's so much stuff coming in yeah they absolutely did absolutely did um yeah we don't no more liverpool at wembley for us no more liverpool at wembley we have got to be pleased about that Bro, Sterling was awful. Genuinely, the worst individual performance I think I've ever seen in my time of watching football. For me, shocking. Absolutely shocking. Um, and yeah, n nothing more can be said for that. Um, guys, there's so much stuff coming in. What else have we got? Um, hopefully we get Coventry. Yeah, let's hope so. FA Cup draw should be coming up any moment now. Um, once they finish doing the analysis on um, 
on the end of the game is still going on now. But the draw should be coming up very, very soon. Um, put Madrid back on the left in the second half and was not it. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, apparently Poch was saying that they took took Mudrick off first because he was tired. Uh, Sterling should have been off at half time. Let's let's be perfectly honest. Yeah, Coventry or Man United. Uh, I'd, I'd fancy us against both those teams. Um, I, I, Man United don't scare me at all. Mudrick was good today. You know, Mudrick was good today. But obviously, certain people only judge a game by G and A. But it, Sterling was was the worst player on the pitch by. By an absolute country mile. No, there's no, there's no getting away from it. No escaping it. Um, but look, ultimately, we are in the semi-finals, and that's what that's what today was all about. But there's no, there's no hiding, there's no hiding from the fact that we haven't. Again, we were poor. We we were poor. You know, yeah, we get a couple of good goals at the end, but the second half, all the way from minute forty-five to minute eighty until the red card, we were shocking. We were shocking. Le- Leicester were miles better than us. They were all over us. Um, you know, they were all over us. It's, it was a carbon copy of that Leeds game. And the red cards obviously helped us out. And we managed to get a few, a few, uh, a, we got a couple of goals right at the end. But we can't keep doing that. We cannot, you, that, what we're doing is not sustainable right now, guys. Not sustainable. Um, you know, you can't keep getting away without scoring teams every week. Uh, you know, when we're, when we're letting in, we're letting in two goals every game, you know, or pretty much. Well, the last four games, we've let two goals in. You know, you're not going to win many matches by letting in that many goals. You know, yes, we've improved. We absolutely have improved going forwards this season. You know, there's no denying that. We have definitely improved going forward. But, you know, defensively, we've regressed. We have got, we've got so much worse. We have got so much worse defensively. Um, and, and that is a... Uh, that is a big problem. You know, we have to improve as a defensive unit. We're letting in way too many goals. Way too many goals. Um, yeah, it's a, it, is, it, is, it is a problem. It is a problem that absolutely needs to be sorted out. But it doesn't really look like Poch knows how to how to fix that defence. It, 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 really, it really doesn't. It really doesn't look like he knows how to fix it. Um, yeah, I mean the the free kick was was, oh, I mean that that would that that and that was sent to Craven Cottage that free kick, that that would have made it four 0 to would have made it four 0 to Fulham, uh you know it, honestly what was that, uh I, I I don't know I don't know um um I I'm not really sure why I I I don't know I, I'm gonna I'm gonna address all this stuff. Uh, once once the draw is out of the way, Coventry City would be great. Um, don't want another loss in the final. No, we don't. We don't. Um, I've had enough of De Sassi. The fact he's our uh, uh, look. It wasn't all for, look. The own goal's poor. I I just don't think he's been that bad this season. You know, is is he a top draw defender? Probably not. But I don't. I I I don't. I don't. I don't think he's been. I don't think he's been that bad. To be perfectly honest. But yeah, it is. It is what it is. Um, I I haven't watched any of the game back. Um, I haven't seen any replays of anything. Um, so I I haven't I haven't seen that. Yep, Sanchez was dreadful today. Absolutely dreadful. Um, yeah, Palmer. What what what's a player? I and you know you you dread to think where we would be uh, without Cole Palmer this season. Um, it, it's it's not it's not worth thinking about the position that Chelsea would be in with, with, without him. Because, um, yeah, we we we'd be in big trouble. We would be in big trouble. Uh, Gusto's a class right back. Yeah, Gusto's been brilliant. He has been brilliant. Um, Kyle needs to start the next game. He, yeah, he, he was good again. There's a he's a very talented boy. Very talented boy. Um, but yeah, you know, there's there's a lot of competition for places and only and only a few available in the starting lineup. But. Yeah, he absolutely deserves more minutes and deserves more opportunities. He he really does. Um, uh, yeah, he, he had a really good impact. What's the game on? T- yeah, didn't yeah. Wherever you watched it from, he was awful. Um, set up for Coventry or United. Yep. Uh, to think we were getting Brennan Johnson instead. Well, well, I, I don't I don't know how serious the interest was in him. Um, it's mad that Brennan Johnson actually cost more than Cole Palmer. I mean that 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 in itself is a 
is a ridiculous statement. And the fact that Brennan Johnson was more than Cole Palmer, mad. Um, that non yeah, the non the Medweka goal was brilliant. The quick feet in the build up and then just curling that shot at top bins. Really happy for him because he's not he's not had much of a look in recently, but he came on and he made an impact and he scored a goal. And and that and that's all you can that that's all you can do. Uh, Enzo was suspended today. He picked up two bookings, I think, in the, in the previous round. So, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, he'd already picked up two bookings, so he, he was banned. Uh, that's why he wasn't playing today. But I think and and a much needed rest for him, if if we're being perfectly honest, um, because you know he's played he's played a lot of football, a lot of football. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be slightly behind in the draw, guys. So make sure there are make sure there's no spoilers, uh, no spoilers for the draw. Um, that would be greatly appreciated, guys. Zero spoilers on the draw front. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, isn't it? It is going to be tough. Um, Semi final draw. No, it still hasn't started yet, has it? Uh, we're just waiting for it to load up on the old. Uh, on the old YouTube, still not started quite yet. Um, are you joking? Is it Chelsea? Is it actually? The, how come? How has the draw started already? It still says it's waiting to start. Are we sure about this, guys? Are we sure this is the draw started? Or oh, oh oh fuck yeah now. Man City in the semis. Oh, I don't understand. Well, that that didn't even work on the old YouTube. Um, yeah, well, that's crap, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's that's all very good, isn't it? Draw the draw on the on the FA Cup YouTube channel not working. Yeah, not 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 ideal. That the draw's already started. We got City. Fair, fair. Um, I don't know. I don't know why that wasn't working on the old YouTube. Uh, City, yeah, not great. Fuck's sake. Oh, well, well, potentially it means at least we can't lose another final. Man United, Coventry. It's, it's basically just going to be... It's just going to be a repeat of last year's final, you would think. Um, a repeat of last year's final. Um, so, yeah, that that's, that, that, that's, that's annoying. That is annoying. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, we, we've been very fortunate with, 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 with the draws. Uh, in both cups, and you know, at some point we were going to come a cropper, and uh, yeah, City is is not ideal for us. But having said that, in the two games this season, we we've given them a good we've given them a good game. We've given them good games. Um, you know, there's no, there's no denying that we've caught we we've caused them problems. Yes, they're obviously overwhelming favourites, and it's going to be very very difficult for us to for us to win. But we we have called we have caused city problems this season uh yeah it, it's uh, it, to be honest it's it, it's going to be it's going to end up being a let's be, if we're being brutally honest it's going to end up being a repeat of last year's FA Cup final again um that that's that's what i think it's uh yeah so we got 20th or 21st of april man city in the FA Cup but having said that Man City has still got Champions League. So they, they play Real Madrid three days before the FA Cup semi-final. And we currently have a free week. So that make make, make of that uh what you will, guys. But yeah, it's uh it's yeah, it's not great. It's not great. Um I I I I, I that that'll be great. That would be great. But I think look, the chances of us getting past City are yeah, let's be honest. They are pretty slim, guys. Pretty slim. Um, no, not no, not about four. No forfeiting of matches. Uh, glad we aren't making finals. Saves more embarrassing potentially. Yep. Yeah. Said City away because we do shit in Wembley. Yeah. Uh, look. Uh, ultimately, guys, that we we know the Wembley record is poor. It's sim simple as that. By the way, people, make sure you keep smashing the like button, guys. Forty-one in the building, only twenty likes on the stream. Come on, guys, run it up. We need to get this to fifty as quickly as possible. So make sure you are doing your bit, hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel as well. No, City haven't beaten us this season. Admittedly, it's only two games, but uh, yeah, they 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 haven't. They've not beaten us this season. City leaves space at the back. Yeah, look, make no mistake about it. Right. There we there will be opportunities. 
there, there, there will absolutely be opportunities uh, on here. There will be. Uh, not another final loss. Well, we, we might. Who knows? Best chance of a trade was against Liverpool. Uh, look, who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe the lemons dried out. Um, way more confident than it being Liverpool or United. Yeah, uh, look, I would have taken United for sure. Um, I, I wouldn't say that, mate, because if we're being honest, the draw's been pretty kind to us. Uh, you know, in both cup competitions this season. So, no, I, 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 look, we've got obviously the toughest draw in the semi-final, but for all the other rounds, we, we, we've done, we've done all right. We, I have to say, maybe we'll pull off a win. You never know. No, you do never know. We have to win the FA Cup. Yeah, it's going to be our best chance of Europe for sure. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, that that's definitely definitely one way of uh of looking at it for sure. Um, but. Yeah, Chelsea Brighton has now been postponed. So that's gonna that's gonna go to a different a different gate a different day now. I don't know when that's gonna be, um, but yeah, look, it's it's not it's not look it's not a great draw. It really isn't. But we we've been very lucky with the draws so far. So there, there's there's no escaping that. There's no escaping that at all. Um, um, Yeah, not ideal. Oh, look, I also feel that like when you get when you get to when you get to the semi final of a competition, you can't complain about having a tough draw. You know, there's four teams left. Sem semi finals, you can't moan about having a tough draw in a semi final. It is what it is. It's not what we wanted, but you can't exactly moan about it. Uh, well, one at the moment, but that'll go to two probably when uh, when um. Yeah, that'll, that'll go to two. Plenty of time to warm those balls in the Old Trafford Michael. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, City lost many times in the semifinals. I remember against Liverpool and Arsenal in Cups. Look, look, it's, look, let's make no mistake about it, right? Whilst it's a tough, tough task, it's not impossible. It absolutely isn't impossible to, to, to beat Man City. Got... Yeah, well, I mean, everyone would have wanted Coventry, but it is what it is. Yeah, we should have done. We, we, well, yeah, no, I, I agree on that. I agree. I think I prefer City in the semi final than the final. True. We've played City tough all year. Let's see what happens in the semi final. Exactly. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it is what it is. You know, it was going to be a one in four chance. You can't, you can't get them all, and and we didn't get it. But you know, it's semi final. It's another opportunity to make a final. Um, it, it, it is progress. Um. But we've come close to beating Man City on two occasions this season. Um, but you know, you can't you can't have the mindset of a competition of think of going into a draw for a competition in the last four thinking, oh, you know, we want to be relying on Coventry and Man U or Man United to knock out City. You know, we're the only team who hasn't lost to City this season. Um, and if we want to win the cup, we'd have to beat them now or in the final anyway. So it it doesn't it doesn't make any difference, in my opinion. You know, whether it's the final or whether it's now, the chances are if we wanted to win this cup, we'd have to, we would have had to have beaten them at some some way down the line. So whether it's a semi-final or final doesn't really make too much of a difference to me. Um if you beat City, see you in the final against yeah, United Chelsea final would be nice, but I've got a feeling it's just gonna be a Manchester Derby final like it was last year. Uh it will be on the 20th or the 21st of April. Um not sure which day it's going to be. Probably going to be this. Probably be on the Sunday, I'd imagine. Probably be probably be Sunday, Sunday, April twenty first. I think that's what it will be. Um, just let we turn up and don't. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's all we can do is turn up, show some fight, show some passion, um, and 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 give it our best shot. That that is the that's the reality of the situation, guys. Uh, let's see if Poch learns from his man management mistakes from the last times against City. Let's hope so. No, he doesn't. Uh, I'd rather play City in a semi than the final. I agree, Joe, but we all knew we'd get Man City. Yeah, look, I think at some point it was bound to happen. But look, ultimately, it's a semi-final of a competition, as I said. Look, if you want to win, you have to... Um, yeah, we have to, we have to, you know, we have to, you have to play the best. Simple as that. But if you look at it this way, though, um, you know, ultimately, 
I, I think if Pep could have, if, if Pep had a choice, he would not have picked Chelsea. We, we have caused City a lot of problems this season. You can also look at it that way. If Pep had a choice, he wouldn't have picked, he wouldn't have picked Chelsea. Absolutely wouldn't have picked us in the draw. Please join me as I grind out French from my upcoming A-level in Ireland. I'm leading. F- uh, we need to win the FA Cup. Let's hope we can. Sterling should hold bench for some time. He should. Yep, absolutely agree. But let, let, let's let's get into today's game then. I I, I want to start with the with the Raheem Sterling stuff because look, I know obviously we've done well, but we've done well today to, to you know to score four and get the win. But let's let's get in let's get into the Sterling side of things. And you know, Poch coming out after the game like with with, with these comments on 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 fans booing Sterling. We need to support him. He's an amazing player. He's not. He has more than 10 years of experience in the Premier League. True. Of course, I think the contribution was good. That that in itself is a big worry. I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, I'm not asking for the for manager to come out and throw a player under the bus publicly, but the contribution was good. It wasn't. He was a little bit unlucky with some actions where he should have scored. Well, was he unlucky? Penalty was shocking. Uh, finish was shocking. Free kick was dreadful. That, that, that's not unlucky. But we're a team and we need to be there for everyone. Fans are entitled to show their emotion. For us, we try to emphasise with our fans not to criticise. They want the best for our team and players, but we're in a project we need support and to really believe. We're trying to build something. We're in a process to build a team. I know really well how to manage. What the fans want is to win the game, and that and that's what we did. Uh, what the fans want is to go to Wembley, and we achieved that. They need to trust me to manage in the way I think is the best for the club. We need to respect their opinion as much as they need to respect my decision. Um, so, yeah, kind of what you would expect him to say. And look, I don't think it's helpful in in a, in a stadium to be, you know, getting on players' backs. We can absolutely understand the 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 frustration of, uh, towards Raheem Sterling. It's more the fact that he keeps getting picked, even though Poch says it's a meritocracy, when it clearly isn't. Um, there, there's also the fact that he's just shocking, absolutely woeful. Um, you know, he he should have been. He should have he should have been subbed off. Like this is what I'm talking about, right? When people talk about Chelsea needing more experience, the two most experienced players on the pitch today for us, Robert Sanchez and Raheem Sterling, were the two worst by a mile. We don't need more experience. We need more leadership. There needs to be more leadership in that team. Where where was the leadership for the, in in the penalty situation? Right? Apparently, there's no designated penalty taker. Right? Apparently, Palmer, Enzo, and Sterling share it between them. That in itself is ridiculous. It's that that is not that that's not right. You know, Palmer has scored all of his penalties this season. He's in unbelievable form. I'm in mean, a tremendous season. He should have grabbed the ball. I'm taking it. Simple as that. Should have pulled rank. If Sterling's trying to take it for for his own ego or whatever he's doing, then someone needs to be stopping that. Why are players on the pitch not going up and saying, "Look, Cole, Cole's taking it." Why is Gallagher as captain not insisting that Palmer's taken it? Why is Pochettino on the sidelines not going mad and saying, no, you're not taking it, Raheem. Palmer's taken it. He, he's he's the take. He's the guy in form. He's the one that scored all his penalties this season. But if you're going to do that and you're going to take and you're going to take the penalty, you've got to make sure you score it. And it was an absolutely pathetic, pathetic penalty. Shocking. You know, so tame. It was nowhere near any of the corners of the goal. And yeah, the nerve and the, like the ego to try and take that off Palmer and then miss it is totally unacceptable. And for me, if I was the gaffer, I would have subbed him there and then for that. Inexcusable behaviour. Inexcusable behaviour. Simple as that. This team doesn't need experience. It needs more leadership. It needs more leadership. Um, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. Poch takes a lot of heat for his players. He could make it easier for himself, but he chose not. No, look, I, look it's no no problem, you know, defending players in public. I'm not asking for, for a manager to throw players under the bus, but it, 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 it it's, it's poor. He must get dropped the next game. No, I agree. Yep, City in the semis. I, I don't know why we changed the goalkeepers. Every time Robert Sanchez plays, we just look so nervy in defence. So nervy. Um, it is, yeah. It, honestly, Sanchez doesn't fill me with any confidence whatsoever. Um, no, it, it doesn't. It, it doesn't at all. It absolutely doesn't. But you know, if you if you fans are, have a right to voice their frustrations, but I I, I do agree. It, it's not helpful. It doesn't achieve anything. But ultimately, you know, he's not been good enough. And it, like 
I know he probably knows that, but the fans have got a right to let players know when they've not played well enough. Uh, I'm not saying I agree with booing or whatever, but there has to be a way around it. Um, Sterling blocking Madrid shot too. Yep, very 4-0 up. Let him take a confidence pen. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. But, you know, with 1-0 up in the first half, you know, you're not giving, you're not giving out sympathy penalties, no. Yep, he should have done. He should have done. Palmer would have been on 15 goals today if he took that penalty. He would have been. Yeah, it works both ways. He has to do more, but it is true that the fan base do need to support Sterling, even though I think he's I think he's shit. I've said it. And Kunku Lava will be fit for the semi-final, possibly. Maybe. Yeah, I wonder if Reese would have would have would have done anything different. Because you can guarantee if JT's on the pitch, that's not happening. If Mourinho's in the dugout, that's not happening. You know? But I, I don't understand why more players didn't pull rank and, 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 and get Sterling off that penalty. That 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 could have that could have cost us. That could have cost us today. Um luckily it didn't, but it absolutely could have done. City in the semis, you think we can get past them? Yeah, I think we can. There's there's absolutely a chance. Look, it's very difficult, but we've caused we've caused Man City problems this season. We have. Um, and there's no reason why we couldn't cause some problems at Wembley. But yeah, it, it's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. Uh, it's hard not to disagree with that. What happened to us in the second half? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I would probably say. No, it's at Wembley. It's not at the Etihad. It's at Wembley. Um, well, he, he, he will do because he's the captain. And on his day, he's the best right back in the world. But yeah, it's very harsh on Gusto, potentially, if Gusto's not even going to find himself in the team. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're at because none of them had the balls and they clearly didn't not great, but at, at this stage, at this stage of a tournament, you know, you, you can't, you can't moan about a draw, you know, that, that is, that is ultimately the, the reality of the situation. People, uh, needed Gallagher to say no, leave it to Palmer. Yep. Sterling was a fucking waste of space along with Sanchez. Penalty taker should have been Palmer. Yeah, I abs absolutely agree. Absolutely agree. Um, but yeah, look, so there's that there. The contribution wasn't good, Poch, but I understand why defending a player, but you know, he shouldn't he shouldn't have taken him off. So he should have taken him off. Absolutely should have done. Um, you know, you can't you can't take a penalty away and then miss it like that, along with other things. And I don't people like this is the problem with a lot of football fans nowadays, is that they just look at GNA and they think, oh, Sterling got an assist, therefore he must have had a good game. Forget the assist. Just use your eyes. He was horrible today. Absolutely horrendous. Um, so yeah, you know, don't don't allow these GNA merchants to, to 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 make you think that Sterling was any good today because because he absolutely wasn't. Um, he's not good enough. He's been a constant letdown. What he is is a volume player, and which is why at Man City he scored a few. He scored quite often because they create so many chances that. You know, you get five or six opportunities and they'll stick a couple away. We're not creating that volume of chances. Therefore, therefore, it is much more damaging to the team when 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 he when he's when he's constantly missing. That 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 is the problem. You know, you'd ex like the levels that Palmer is showing Sterling is is mad for someone that's in his first year of playing regular senior football. He's he's not he's miles clear of Sterling. Absolutely miles clear of Sterling. He, Sterling is a tap-in merchant. He, he was at, he was at City. There's a reason why City were happy to get away from him, happy to let him go. Sorry, you know, there's a reason why, and it's now very obvious. I put everything in the FA to win the FA Cup rather than betting we can make top six. Yeah, I think. Look, still, even with City, we are look. We're two games away from 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 Europa League football, and that that is a lot easier for sure. Very worried. Not once have we performed for a complete ninety. No, not really. I mean, look, I'd probably say maybe Aston Villa away in the FA Cup. We were very good for the vast majority of the game. Um, I don't think we can. I don't think we can rely on that. Um, Petty the Sterling transfer since day one. Tapping merchant at City can't even get tap-ins with us. Nope. Yeah, I mean, where where we'd be without Cole Palmer is is not worth thinking about. It, it really isn't. Um, what, what a player! What a signing! Um, the impact he's had is is unbelievable, um, unbelievable impact. Um, so, yeah, you know, 
what a player he's been for us. Signing of the season, hands down, should be young player of the year, PFA young player of the year. Um, and yes, yeah, Ster Sterling better get his Arabic phrase book out. Simple as that. Hope, yeah, I hope he can as well. There's a there's a lot of talent there with Carney, a lot of talent. Uh, Sterling is not a role model on the pitch. So, so selfish. He is. Like, if he was producing at the other end, you could maybe forgive his laziness and his lack of tracking back and whatnot. But he's offering nothing going forward. He offers nothing defensively. He just offers nothing full stop. That that that's That's the reality. That is where we are at, at this point in time, is that he offers fuck all. Absolutely fuck all. And it, it's it's totally unacceptable. Um, could Cole Palmer get 20 goals this season? Yeah, I think he absolutely could. We also need to stop being shit in the second half. Agreed. Um, thank God for Palmer and Gusto this season would have been much worse. Yeah, it would have been it would have been much worse, for sure. Um, that one-on-one, -on -one, yep, was awful as well. But look, ultimately... We're at a bit of a crossroads. Sterling's at a bit of a crossroads for me in his, in his Chelsea career. The fans are not taking to him. He's not doing enough. For someone that's the highest paid player at a club, it's it's poor. It's simple as that. It's terrible. Yeah, bye. Um, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's terrible. Um, not good enough. Not good enough at all. And it needs to be let, let it know. It needs to be known that he's not doing well enough. I'm sure he does know that himself, but it, it, it it's poor. Carney over Gallagher, in my opinion, so much better technically. He is better technically. They're different players though. Like Gallagher isn't a number 10. Uh, you know, he simply isn't. Guys, 61 in the building, 42 likes. Keep smashing that like button. Let's get us to 50 likes as quickly as we possibly can, guys. Quick as we possibly can. Uh, passing is still so slow. No football from instant. It's just trap the ball and think for 10 seconds. That's not good enough. No, it's it's not. I blame Tuchel and not the owners. Yeah, Tuchel was the one that wanted Sterling. So uh, you've done a lot of good stuff, Thomas. But yeah, not we're not thanking you for that one. Trouble is no one is taking on... No, they're not. That, that is the ma massive problem we got. Unless, you know, unless no, no, off no offers coming in for Sterling, unless it's from Saudi. I mean, how much how much do you even get for Sterling right now? I mean, what, what would you get for him? Would someone pay 30 million quid for him? I, I, I don't fucking know. Uh, I reckon we get top seven if we win. Remaining home games and home form has been decent. Uh, yeah, possibility. Possibility for sure. Um, but it's, it's, it's still, it's still going to be tough. But let, let, let's, let's make no mistake about it. It's still going to be difficult. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Sterling obviously pulled rank, wanted to take it. Um, there was no leadership shown from the captain, no leadership shown from the manager. Not enough players stood up to him. And yeah, that, that, that's that's how, that's where we were. Um, Sterling is not going anywhere because he's at the crib. Yeah, this is it. He is. What if you're Raheem Sterling? Where's your where's your desire to leave Chelsea? You know, you're on a fat contract. You, you, you're getting played. Uh, and yeah, you know that that's it. Some good news. The fan hit by Sterling's free kick has now regained consciousness in hospital. Well, there's, there's some good news then. Um, but yeah, look, on the Sterling stuff, I understand that look, I fully appreciate booing, booing players is not helpful. It's not helpful whatsoever. Absolutely agreed. Um, but ultimately, Sterling needs to stop being picked because he's not offering anything to this team. You know, he's one of those players. You can write, you can write the script for Sterling, right? It'll be absolutely horrendous and frustrate everyone all game. But then he'll randomly pop up with a goal or an assist, and then people and people think he's good. You know that that in itself is 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 a big big problem. Um, oh, the answer to that is because we're shit defensively. That, that that that's why we look. We've we've got we've got we've got better going forwards. There's there's no denying we've improved going forwards. We're scoring a lot more goals this season, but defensively we have regressed big time. Regressed big time. Um, and that in itself is is a major problem, a major major problem. How much we have regressed defensively this season, um, you know. That's now two goals in each of the last four games that we've conceded: two against Leeds, two against Brentford, two against Newcastle, and another two today. Another two today. Um, uh, yeah. It, oh, yeah. Will be a big loss on selling Sterling. Yeah, no, this is true. This is absolutely true. Um, no, big up, big up, Carlton. Appreciate the support, brother. Cole Palmer should get extra money in his contract. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know what he's on at the moment. Yeah, but this is 
No, but it, like this is all in the past. Sterling is not the same player. He's not delivering to the level that he has done previously. And like he's not doing what he was brought in to do. Simple as that. Um, uh, look, players aren't stupid. They they know when they when they're not reaching a level and they're not performing well enough. I don't. They don't need fans booing them to 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 realize that. Um, um. So yeah, I, I don't think it's helpful. Players do know when they're playing shit. Like they, of course, they know. Um, you can't ma- you can't make anyone take a pay cut. Unfortunately, Petrovic needs to be behind goal versus City. Yeah, he absolutely does. Absolutely does. If, if, if Sanchez is in, is in goal against City, then we, we that's going to be a long day, long day, and we can just uh, we can just forget that. Uh, yeah, no, the, the the home form the home form has massively picked up. The home form has been shocking for quite a long time. But it it has now improved, which is which is a huge positive. That, that is a positive for sure. We are playing a lot better at Stamford Bridge now. Sanchez flying in the air like Superman. What was he thinking? No idea. Yeah, for, yeah, for sure, for sure. And look, in, in fairness to Sterling, uh, uh, after after the game on Instagram, he has come out and uh, apologised for for the miss. Um, which is fair enough, you know. If you hold your hands up, that's all you can ask for. Uh, Apologies for the penalty miss. I'll be back 10 times stronger to help the team win and to continue and continue to keep fighting for the badge every single day. Um, okay, fine. Whatever is what it is. Um, yeah, you've got to do your talking on the pitch. It's fine to come out and say that, but now you need to go and actually deliver something for us. You know, you, you haven't delivered anything for us. You know, that, 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 that's what we're looking for is output on the pitch and good performances. And you haven't given us that. You've not given it to us. So you need to do some soul searching, do something and make sure that you actually are going to put in some decent performances because what you've been doing this season has not been good enough. It's not been good enough. And if for someone that's meant to be a leader, you know, the most experienced attacker we've got, he's been the worst. He's probably been our worst. Honestly, I would say, I know he's had got some output, but he's been our, he's been our worst attacker this season. I, I don't even think it's it, it, it's close. He's been shocking. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, I, I still haven't seen the own goal, the own goal back yet. Um, yeah, it would have been, would have been good. Um, just send the idiot on gardening leaf fair. Well, apparently there's not a designated taker and, and, and like the takers are like Palmer, uh, sorry, yeah, Palmer, um, Enzo and Sterling, and they just kind of share the duties, but it, sh- it should be Cole Palmer, simple as that. Yeah, he he, he Mudrick was good today, you know. I, I've backed Mudrick from day one, Mudrick was decent today, he he was, but he was f- 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 first sub. But apparently, the reason for that was because they were they analyzed it and he was tired, which is why he came off before Sterling. Uh, I, I don't know if that's true or not, but uh, yeah. Imagine we beat City and United lose to Coventry. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, it, it would be it would be quite something, wouldn't it? It would be quite something if, if that did happen. Maybe, maybe that's maybe our luck in the cups. We could get that. Fighting slash Sterling, two words not often seen together. No, they're absolutely not. Um, good. That's what I like to hear. But please prove it on the pitch. Yeah, he needs to. Goes missing on the wings. I blame Sanchez more than the sassy. Yeah, the, the yeah the, the position is obviously poor, but yeah, it, it's just it's just a, it's just a comical comical situation, guys. Sixty five likes. Let's get this up closer to a hundred likes, people. Sixty seven in the building, fifty likes. Keep smashing that like button. It's free. It takes seconds. And please do subscribe to the channel if you're new around here as well, guys. There must be a few of you that haven't subscribed that are tuned in now. Please kick, please click even that subscribe button. It's free. Take seconds, um, and yeah, you know, do do your thing, guys. Help me out as we head towards nine k. You know, it's, it's got to be done. It has to be done, people. So make sure that you are doing that. Subscribe and uh, and keep smashing those likes. Let's get these likes up. It really, really helps out. Um, but yeah, let's see what else is going. I would have played Mudrick on the wing, Cole Palmer on the left for the next game. Yep, 
yeah, Gusto was the man of the match. He he was he was superb, absolutely superb again today. Uh, what was the atmosphere at the ground today? It was okay. It was okay. Obviously, better better at full time and whatnot. But yeah, generally speaking, throughout the game, it it wasn't it wasn't great. But unfortunately, at Stamford Bridge, it never is. That, that that's just the reality. Can we get past City to go to the finals? And I want to see Petrovic over Sanchez against City in the semis. Uh, I think we, ca we can. It's going to be very difficult, but we absolutely can. Um, and then I uh, want to see Petrovic over Sanchez. Yep, agreed. Yeah, of course. You know, look, we're at a day and age where you shouldn't, you shouldn't have to come out and apologise on social media for missing a penalty. But that's the day and age that we're in right now. Look, fair enough. I respect it. You know, fair, fair play to him. But yeah. You know, talk talk is cheap though. Go go and go and do something on the pitch for us. Poch such an old school manager. He wants to respect the more experienced players, and that's why Sterling was on the pitch and not well. Mudrick was on the pitch, but yeah, no, I, I think I think there is an element of truth to that. Absolutely. Uh, m maybe maybe it's about a month away. I, I I I don't know. Is is the honest answer to that? I'm really not sure. But you know, again, Poch again quite quite feisty in the in the in the in his in his pre match in his post match comments, you know, about you know he needs to tr like the fans need to trust him as the manager, and, and and all that sort of thing. I mean, he was saying here, I'm reaching the semi final and fans, it's, it's massive to play at Wembley again for the second time this season. We are a close squad. Fans need to trust the club. I'm here because the owners have faith. I'm taking off Mudrik. He said, I'm not here to do what people want. Also, I'm not stupid. We analysed Mudrik was tied, so we decided to take decided to take him off first, then Sterling. We are professional. Now I know you're not here to do what people want, uh, and look, you're not you're not stupid. But there are certain things you do that, like you sort of look at it and you think, yeah, it's, it's, it is pretty stupid. Um, look, of course, you know he's right to call for fans to trust the club. But right now, as fans, it is difficult to trust the club. You know, you can't really see what sort of direction that the club is going in. You know, it's very hard to trust what the club are doing, given that the people in the positions of power. Are, are making poor decisions. It's very hard to trust the club. No, he hasn't yet. Not not the senior side. He's he was he's in the uh, he's in Thierry Henry's un, France under twenty threes. Uh, so yeah, no, he's not there. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it is true. He has shown more fight against the fans than than. Look, do you know if we were to win the FA Cup, uh, 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 look, he he would stay for sure. He would stay, um, but. Yeah, look, I, I want him to do well. I want this to work because we can't keep, you know, going through managers. Uh, we, 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 sim we simply can't. But at the end of the day, you know, we do need to see that we're that, that, that progress, that, that progress is being made. And is enough progress being made this season? That that is that's the big thing. Um, yeah, look, it's great to be to make you know the final, make semi, make semi final of the FA Cup. Um, yeah, those those are all good things. But for me personally, yeah, I I I don't know. I just don't know what's going on. I just don't know what's going on. That is the that is the reality. It's not just the penalty. He was through on goal and terrible finish. Free kick went to the moon. Yeah, and he blocked Madrid's shot as well. Look, it's not just the penalty. Like, you can almost, to a certain degree, put the penalty to one side. It happens. It's more the fact that he took the penalty off him and then and then fucked it with, with a shocking pen. Um, I want to see Silva back in the first 11. We were conceding goals all over the place with him in the team. And it was and Pochettino has done the right thing in phasing Silva out of this team, as much as it pains me to say that. He has done the right thing, and he needs to do the same thing with Sterling. But trust Joe, trust Joe, Joe Shields. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling Poch says whatever happen, whatever happens, owners will say progress. Uh, look, I think look if you're basing it on last season, then yeah, there absolutely has been progress. There's no denying that. Uh, look, the, the whilst the league position is pretty similar, there's no progress. There's not a lot of progress in terms of that. I think there is progress in the football. We're scoring a lot more goals. Just defensively, we've got worse. But overall, we're winning more games and we are playing better. Um, look, I think that from last season, yeah, sure, there's been progress. But that is a that is a low bar. That is a low, low bar. Um, there, there's no there's no getting away from the fact that it is a that is a very low bar. 
Um, but yeah, it is it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Um I I don't know what I don't know what we can do about it, really. Um that is the that is the problem. Um yeah, I, I, I don't know, is the honest answer. Um it is so tough. I, I I would like to be in a situation where he stays because we need that continuity. Um, Pochettino has to, has, has to do as he's told. Uh, Poch sub scores and made a difference. Uh, no, it it doesn't. It's it's that's flawed logic because Sterling should have been off at half time. Um, and we look the subs both both subs came on and scored fair, but like. It's warped logic to to say that you know I deserve praise for, for for the subs. The subs were too late, in my opinion, and you know, agree with everything about Sterling, but fans should not boo him. Yeah, look, it's it's a, it's a device. Booing is a, is, a, is a divisive topic. Um, I can understand. I can understand both. I can understand both points of view. No, he won't get a new contract. He's still got a year left in the summer with an option for a third year. So no, I, I don't. I don't. I don't see a. I don't see a new contract being offered. No, I, that is a question that I do not know the answer to. I, I, I don't know. It, it's it's it is a genuine mystery. It is a genuine mystery. Hundred uh, percent, it's a mystery. Um, I I I don't know what I don't know what the answer is um, to that one. So do you feel as if the Liverpool knockout was one less problem or? Well, well, look. Ultimately, we haven't got like United would be a, would be a potential final for us. Um, but yeah, of course, you'd rather United than Liverpool uh, in 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 the FA Cup for sure. Uh, was good for Mudrick to start and do well, and has to start more. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He, he did well today. I I I was I, I liked what what I saw from him. Yeah, I I, I was I was happy with with Mudrick today. Did did well. Um, I, I, I think he's a very, I think he's a good player. There's a lot of potential there. As as regular viewers will know, I've backed this guy from day one, um, and I will, I will continue to do so. Personally, I don't think there's a manager in the Premier League worse than Poch. Yeah, the in-game management is terrible. Like you know, I, I, like I, I'm not like you know some sort of football whiz, as it were, but. You know, you could feel in the stadium watching the game that Leicester were coming into it. The tide was changing and something needed to be done. And yet nothing was done. And he just sat and waited for it to go to 2-2 before thinking about making any changes at all. That, that for me, was, was, not, was not making any sense whatsoever. No, no sense at all. I, I, don't understand, I don't understand what was going on, guys. I, I really don't get it. Um, yeah, in-game management is shocking. But there's no, there's no getting away from it. Uh, agreed. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, Poch's in-game management was so poor as usual. Yep. Yep, I, 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 I agree on those points. Chris Hansen Madrid now not allowed. Gives me Kai Havertz vibe from a few years ago. Um, yeah, no, he's showing progress. He's started to show progress. And that is, that is ultimately all you can ask for, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is all you can ask for: is, is progress being shown. To take Madrid off his name was Jake. Well, apparently the reason for that was because he was tired. Um, uh, I don't know. Is the answer to that? May, maybe in Kunku. Uh, I don't know about Reese, and I, I've got no idea about Lavia either. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see on that. I don't know. That, that's another thing that is frustrating. I'm not. I'm not saying you need to be up sparking orders on the touchline all game, but. You know, you need to, to spend the majority of the game sat in the dugout. It is for me that that's not the one. That isn't the one, and it, it's not it's not helpful. It, it really isn't. Um, there's no there, there, there's no getting away from it whatsoever. Um, you know, I, I I would like it if he was more pragmatic, if he was more uh, animated on the touchline. You know. That, 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 that can be helpful as a player. You know, if you're struggling in a game or as a team as you're struggling, you look to the side and you see the manager, you know, instructing you and all this and all that, you know, that that is helpful. But obviously we are uh, we are we aren't we haven't got a manager that does that. Um 
Madrid is getting there all the time, backed in from day. Yeah, I, I, I always will. I was not risking Kunku and James this season, though I, I wouldn't either. Madrid being given an applause when Sud was epic from us, was Poch got to stop. Yeah, I, 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 I do agree on that. But yeah, look, obviously, you know, Poch is saying that we need to trust the club and he's here because the owners have faith. I, I get that, but there needs to be progress and there needs to be, you know, a, a series of decisions and, and, and processes that, you know, instill trust from the club to the fans because right now there's not really I, I'm, I'm not getting any level of trust uh, it's very hard to trust what the club are doing and to and to have trust in the club uh at this point in time there, there there's no escaping that there's no denying that um and it's and it is something that you know there isn't there there is a there is a disconnect between the club and 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 the fans and that's something that, that needs to be sorted out it does need to be sorted out there there's no there's no escaping that no no escaping that that there is a big disconnect yeah you know winning winning will obviously help but yeah it's not it's not great if we're if if we're being totally honest it, it's it's not great whatsoever but it is it is what it is at the end of the day um you know, winning will hopefully bring that, bring that, bring that closer. Um, and that, that, that's all. That's all. We, that's all we can hope. But you know, let, let, let's move on to let's move on to more on to more positive things. And let's let's talk about um, Carney Chukwemeka. I'm delighted for him. Absolutely delighted. The coach said, go on and express yourself, which I did. Cole said to me before the game, if I come on, he will assist me in fair play. His IQ is amazing. I knew as soon as I played it, he would find me fair play to him. Um, yeah, look, Chuck Kameko, it's been difficult for him this season. You know, he's had a good preseason. He started the season well. Great goal against West Ham. Gets injured. Pretty much was out for, was out for months. Suffered multiple setbacks along the way. Um, but there is quality there. He's a good player. You know, he got that assist for Nkunku at Anfield. Um, you know, he, he's, he has got quality. He's shown, he's shown what he's got. Um, and again, like he's only, he's only 20 years of age. Called up to the England under-21 squad for the first time um, for, for this upcoming international break. Let, let's see if he gets opportunities there. He, he's a very good player. He's a good player. Um, I, I really like him. Abilities there, delighted for the for the goal. He's called takes it well. It's a it's a superb flick from Palmer, and yeah, the, the the finish is brilliant. And do you know what? It's not been easy for him. It hasn't been easy for him. But you've got to be absolutely delighted for the kid. Last minute winner at Stamford Bridge, massive for his confidence, massive for his season. Um, I mean, you'd probably say Connor if you're being if you're being totally honest. But I I don't know if Poch is not going to take him out. So yeah. It is it is a little bit of an issue, uh, to be to be honest. It it, it is it, it like we've got there are big there is big competition for places. Um, we will see by the type of players we buy. Yeah, this is why what I've always said. You know, this this summer is massive. In the players we bring in will tell you a lot about the direction the club is looking to go in. Um, yes, big up, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is it's it's a great one, and it's got the old um, yeah, got Fabregas on the back as well. What a player he was for us. But yeah, this this is this is definitely one of one of my favorite shirts, the old 14, 15 away. Um, yeah, great, great shirt, great shirt. Um uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Just a shame with the injury. It was a massive shame. Carney was good when he came on. It's but it's so hard for these young lads to get enough game time. Yeah, no, it is, it is. Carney was good when he came on today. He he was really good. Uh, you know, I, I really, I really liked what I, what I saw from him. Yeah, he, he was, he was good. No, 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 no denying it, but it is difficult. Yep. The special number four. I want to see the team without Gallagher and me a fully fit team. Yeah. Look, I think when everyone's fit, Gallagher obviously isn't in Chelsea's best 11, like in Poch's mind, he, he, he could well be, but if we're being honest, I, 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 I don't, I don't think he's in, 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 the, in Chelsea's best 11. Um, but that, that's just. That, that that's just my thoughts. Carney's got to be given starts over Sterling now. That is fit again. I'd rotate Mudrick and Carney and send Sterling off to play with the reserves. Uh, yeah, Carney needs chances. I, I'm really pleased for him because I think he's a great player. He's a, he's had so many difficult difficulties this season with obviously his his injury problems. But 
that, that, that there's a player there. There's a player there. There's ability there. And again, he just needs he needs the opportunity to be able to to be able to do it to to be shown it. Um, that's that's what that's what we're looking for. That is what we're looking for. Um, but again, it, it is it is going to be tough. There, there, there's no denying that. Um, um, Fabregas ended up being yeah. He, he, what's the player? We need leaders more. Yeah, th this this is this is my point that I was making earlier. Like people cry out for experience. We don't need experience. We need leadership, and. That is what we lack. What, what we lack massively is leadership. There, there's nowhere near enough of it in the team, um, and that that in itself is the problem. These young players are very talented. You know, I, I refuse to believe that. You know, this isn't a good squad. We haven't got good players. There's a lot of talent there. A lot of talent there, and it's just about nurturing it and developing it, and bringing in some leadership to help to help these young kids in 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 games because that's what you need you need you need you need leadership that's who you look to you look to your leaders in difficult moments and looking around on a pitch today and or this season in general the only confused leaders for some inspiration there isn't any uh, and and that that in itself is a is 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 a major issue where are the leaders guys where are they um and they they're lacking Sim simple as that. They're 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 lacking. Um, so yeah, that's that's the problem. Uh, I think Sterling himself decided that. If we get a striker in the summer, I want to see how they link up with Nkunku. Yeah, look, there, there's so there's still so many pieces of the jigsaw that need fitting into this team. Uh, still so many pieces of the jigsaw. Uh, but I think a front four of Nico up top, Cole on the right, Madrid in the middle, Nuno on the left is the way forward. Yep. That, that 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 that's definitely that's definitely something that I would like to see more of for sure. Um, Jackson, by the way, was good again today. Brilliant play for the, for the for the opening goal. Nice run. Great ball across for for Cucurella, who again gets his first goal for Chelsea. I thought he had a, another decent performance. You know, I, I don't know why we're looking to sell him to, looking to sell him this summer. I, I I would be keeping Cucurella. Yeah, you know, he's not he's not been amazing, but. Yeah, he he he's been okay. Um, he's 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 been okay. Um, I I I don't mind him, and I I, I would personally keep him, but I understand maybe they want to maybe they want to sell him. Don't think he's been good enough or whatnot. I I get it. Um, but yeah, guys, six likes away from sixty. Keep smashing the like button, guys. Let's get this to seventy likes as quickly as possible, people. That would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Would would uh would would mean a lot, guys. So let, let's make sure that we are getting there, people. Let's make sure we're getting there. Uh, one uh, one subscriber away as well, guys, from eight thousand one hundred and thirty. So yeah, someone hit that subscribe button, people. Get it done. Get it done. Uh, you lot know what to do. Um, Sesco will be our striker. I've got a feeling that that could well be the case, which would be. I don't want to say disappointing because it's disrespectful, but it's not what we need. We don't need an another project player. We absolutely don't. Bought Sanchez for the number one spot, but he's trying to catch a ball was laughable and the ball at his feet was sloppy as it gets. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, that Jackson touch, though. Yeah, it, he's Jackson's a good player. Uh, again, Someone that I really like as a footballer, yeah, finishing needs to improve. But his actual overall gameplay and his all-round ability as a footballer is very good. You know, one of the real positive positives for us this season. Petrovic, Sanchez, why is this? It shouldn't be a debate. It absolutely shouldn't be a debate. Anyone that thinks Sanchez is better than Petrovic is, yeah, is is all over the gaff. All over the gaff. Um, it, it, ma it makes no, it makes no sense whatsoever. Um, but yeah, it, it makes, it makes no sense whatsoever. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I really don't know is, is the honest thing. Um, what's going on here? Uh, 
Um, yeah. Anyway. He's too random for our liking. Uh, players to be weeded out this summer. Uh, Broya, yeah. Uh, Ugo Chukwu has, has, hasn't... Re uh, uh, look, I think Ugo Chukwu probably needs a loan. Uh, but I think there's a good player there. Um, but yeah. Jackson's a great support striker, not an out-and-out -out striker. Yeah, possibly. Possibly that. Agreed on that. I mean, look, Sanchez, to be honest, shouldn't have been playing today. You know, you shouldn't be making changes in goal in in cup quarterfinals. Um, you you really you really shouldn't. Um, so yeah. Um I I, I don't know. Enzo and Caicedo both need to grow into a leadership role over time. Yeah, and I, th I think they I think they can, but in, we 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 definitely need more ready-made leaders right now. We, we absolutely won't end up with Gareth Southgate, that's for sure. Um, Petrovic for FA Cup to the last whistle. Yeah, again, he should be playing against uh, against uh, City. And no, uh, make no mistake about it, he should absolutely be playing against City. Um, what else have we got going on? But yeah, del absolutely delighted for Carney. Delighted for Carney because that's that's what he that's what he deserved. Um, you know, that is exactly what he deserved because you know he's he's had to work hard. Um, he's had to work really hard. So yeah. Um, what else have we got going here? Um, 25 plus, at least two players. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Chukwameka, delighted for him. Really good. Um, and and Medawake as well, you know. He, he's, the, the the ability is there. there. There's a loss of talent at Chelsea. There, 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 there really is. There's a lot of talent. Um, and it's just about harnessing it and developing it. Um, that that's what that's what we need to do. Um, is Chelsea the right environment for doing that? That is that in itself is a is a difficult question. I I I I don't know if it is or not. I don't know how many of these players are gonna are gonna reach the level that that we hope they're are gonna reach. Um, yeah. That in itself uh, is something that I don't know the answer to in reality. But look, Madueke, the ability is there. The goal's fantastic. And it's nice to see him get a chance because I'm thinking, like, what is he what is he doing um, on the training pitch, which is meaning that he can't start ahead, can't start a game ahead of Sterling. I, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Um we just to see what happens to the Meadow Waking in the summer. Great goal. What Poch isn't a huge well, I don't know if he's not a huge fan of him or not. I I I don't really know what what the situation is, but yeah, I, I wouldn't maybe he might go on alone. I I I don't know. But th there is a player there and there's ability there. But again, as with a lot of as a as with all these players, we you need like these youngsters need opportunities to, to, to develop and are they? Are they? Get, not all these guys going to get it here. They're simply not. Um, they're simply not going to get it. They're not going to get the time they need to develop. Is is Medawake? Are Chelsea going to put you know the, the time into Medawake? Are they going to put the time into Madrid? Are they going to put the time into Chukwameka? Like that's what needs to happen. Uh, but are 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 we going to do that? That is something that. That I don't know the answer to. It's not something we've gem we don't generally tend to show an awful lot of patience with with players. I uh, I don't know, but we do have to. Otherwise, these players just aren't going to develop. That that is that's the bottom line and 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 the simple simple reality of the situation, guys. Agree. That's why I said growing to yep. Yeah. Can anyone see Cole Palmer being a captain and a leader in the team? I I, I don't really know. I'm I'm not sure. Carney, good. Palmer's pass was fun. Yeah, it, it was mad. I've honestly thought we were going to extra time. Uh, but yeah, the, the assist is is phenomenal. What what a player Cole Palmer is. What a player. Um, Matty, appreciate that. Thank you, brother. Thank you for your support. Uh, 
bit more growth from players like Mudrik, Carney, Gusto, Petrovic. Yeah, no, th- look, th- th- this is the thing, right? You know, th- there is the base for a great team there. It's just obviously right now, you know, we haven't got a team that's ready to perform on a consistent basis. And it's clearly lacking leadership and players with 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 with, with the know-how. And, you know, if we can add a little bit of that over the summer, then that's that that's got to be that's got to be the way forward but i'm just not sure if uh i'm just not sure if 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 we will do that sterling has to go i'm not quite potch out yet but he's doing himself no favors no he's not he's not yep hutchinson's having a great loan at if switch hutchinson's ahead of angelo for me you know, Championship is a, is a tough league to play, and he's done really well there. Um, so yeah, Hutchinson is definitely ahead of Angelo. But what I mean, this this is the thing though. You have got so many players knocking for places like Medawake, Angelo, Hutchinson. Like, there's not space for all these guys. So I I, I don't know what Chelsea's plan is with them. Um, they're clearly not going to all be able to play for us. They're not. So yeah, I I I, I, don't, I don't really know what. What the situation is again? We've got Dat Trevor another one doing well at Burnley. Um, what is the plan for all these guys? I I I, I don't really know. That's not stupid. We should we should have Kais, let we should have let Kais, had Casado let go. Signed the twenty seven new ship type. Oh, I I don't know about that. I'm not sure about that. Uh, again, I don't know about that. But he's having a fantastic season. Looks to be a top top player. Um, so yeah. I, I I I don't know is the honest answer to that one, guys. What I do know is though is that we are two likes away from seventy. So keep smashing the like button, people. Keep running that up. Let's get this as close to a hundred likes as we can. I think Joe Shields was quite instrumental in the Cole Palmer deal. Yes, um, I think he was because he obviously values his experience and he values his output. Despite the fact that Sterling's like, you know, fucks it up nine times out of ten, on the tenth time he'll give you a goal or an assist, and that and that's clearly what what Poch is seeing and and what and what and what Poch is liking. Let's be honest, Poch is killing these boys from lack of game time to poor team playing style. They need to be on the ball with proper tactics. Um, yeah, but yeah, I, I I can I can see your point. Um, probably selling for profit in the summer. Some of them will be. Uh. You know, I'm I'm not, I'm not against uh yeah against against Caicedo uh whatsoever, whatsoever. The team is really talented, just can't keep Poch. Uh, look, uh, look, the team is talented for, for sure. I absolutely agree that the team's talented, but yeah, it is a it is a problem. It is a it is a problem for sure. Um, absolutely is a problem. I I I don't know what we what we do about it. Um. But yeah, look, for what it's worth, the players do genuinely seem to really like Pochettino, like playing for him, think he's a good coach, good man manager, he's a good person with them. Um, he just has to improve his man management and his, not his man management, sorry, his in-game management. Um, Brentford's struggling currently. Uh, the, the team's not very good, is, is, is the reality of the situation. They're clearly really struggling at the moment. Um, they're, they're not a million miles off from going down. They actually aren't. Um, we worried one day around you come knocking on the door for Palmer. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Really want Caicedo to get some goals. Uh, look, he's not in the team for goals, Caicedo. That that absolutely isn't uh, isn't his position and isn't what what he's uh, what he's in there for. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's let's see what. Let's see what the situation is with that. Yeah, he's only 22 years of age, though. Like, they, I don't think there's a there's a rush on that front. Um, but there is definitely, absolutely, a rush to get to get experience, to get uh, leadership, to get leaders in. Uh, simple as simple as that. Um, um, that 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 is absolutely absolutely clear. Um,
I was let Kai Sado do his thing and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, absolutely. Abs I, I absolutely agree on all that. Um, yeah, I mean, look, this, this, by the way, this, the, we, we do need to discuss second half of games. We, we, we need to majorly discuss that because the drop off today in the second half was once again unacceptable. And it will probably be swept under the carpet because because we won and we went through. But this is a really, really worrying, recurring pattern that we just don't turn up in the second half of games. We just come out and we're just stuck in the dressing room. Uh, that that is, a, that is a major issue. That is something that needs addressing big time. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what the, what the situation is. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't, I don't know why we come out and suddenly the opposition are playing loads better and we're playing loads worse. I, I can't put my finger on it. It, it. it has to be a coaching thing. It has to be, you know, the, the players don't collectively decide to just all drop off and play shit. Look, obviously, there's some responsibility on 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 the players for sure, but yeah, I I I I don't I don't I don't get I don't get what the drop off is. It it, it has to be majority. Uh, it has to be a a, a manager thing. It, it it simply has to be. Um, that that that's what I'm that's that's what I'm thinking. It, it must be a manager thing because you don't get why is that level of drop off so severe? Like you might get it in some games, but this level of drop off is constant, constant, constant drop off, um, and it, it, it's it, it's a major problem. I, I agree uh, because he wanted to take it and no one stopped him. So yeah, I I, 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 I don't get it. Yeah, Enzo wasn't there to step in today. Um, no one else did step in. I, I I don't know why. I don't understand why. Um, but that that is why. Yeah, yeah. I, I I've been a Madrid guy from day one. Uh, yeah, really like him. Really believe in him. Uh, so let's hope it continues its development. Uh, either it, Poch is doing the season, guys. You know he's doing the season. You know he's not going anywhere before the end of the season. Let, 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 let's be let's be brutally honest here. He's not going anywhere before the end of the season. So yeah, we just have to wait and see. But the drop off in second half performances is is a is a real real concern. A real real concern. Um, but you know, I, I I don't I don't know what we can do about that. Um, I, I I don't know. I I, I don't understand why the drop off is 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 so severe. Yeah, no, 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 I know, I know Enzo was suspended. Yeah. Um, Definitely want someone else a manager in the summer. I was willing to give him enough time, but now he's lost for answers and ideas. Thing is, though, whilst he's still picking up results, that that's gonna do that. That's gonna that's gonna you know get him credit in the bank with with with, with the club. Well, I mean, look, I think Sterling and Enzo are, are the are, are the other takers, but yeah, it's it's not it's not a brilliant selection. No, it really isn't a brilliant selection at all. No, it's not going to happen. I I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, it's a major concern though, and 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 I and I don't know what what the answer is uh, because it just keeps happening. We we need to find out why it keeps happening. Um, I I I, I don't know. Um, I really I really don't know, but. We did ultimately, guys. We struggled again. We struggled against the championship side. That that is that's that's the reality of the situation. That's the bottom line. Crazy game. Yet yeah, we're in the semi-finals. We're back at Wembley. It's great. Um, but ultimately, we did ag once again struggle against championship level opposition. That that's that that has to be that has to be concerning, and it is it is concerning. Um, but again. You know, you know that there, there was there was a lot to be angry about, but football's about you know about feelings, and that did that, that those last minute that last minute winner did feel really good. It did feel really good. 
Poch needs to connect with the fans, maybe clip, clapping them off. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I do agree with that. Um, I, I wouldn't say a poor coach, but someone that's not shown enough as a manager. I, I don't think he's poor, but he's not been good enough this season. That, that, that's the reality. Let's just support the team. We could win 90% of the games left and set ourselves up for the season. We could. We, we could. I'll, I'll always support the team. But, you know, yeah, sometimes it is. There's no denying it. Sometimes it is really, it is tricky, guys. There's no getting away from it. Poch, why is he starting Sanchez anywhere over Petrovic? Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, he's coming in. He's starting, he's starting in the summer. 750k compensation. He's coming in the summer. Young players need time. I don't think another coach does any better. I, uh, do you know what, Darren? Uh, I, I, Daron or Darren or Daron? Uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, I, I agree. And look, that's not a reason just to, to blindly stick with someone. But there's, for me, there's not an obvious improvement out there in terms of someone that's going to come in and think, oh, they're definitely going to make a massive improvement. For me, that that that, that isn't there. Um, so yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. Poch needs to connect with the fans. Yep. Uh, no Premier League football on next week. No, there's not. Yeah, FA Cup quarterfinal weekend was was mad. I mean, probably you would say that the Man City Newcastle game wasn't great, but Chelsea Leicester was brilliant. Wolves Coventry was great. Man United Liverpool was great as well. Yeah, we do need to get rid of Sterling. Absolutely. No, he hasn't. You know, and and, and that's the decision that he's that that, that that's the decision that he's taken. Um, I, and and I, and I don't really know why. I don't know why he's not why he's not doing that um why he's choosing not to connect with the fans i i don't i don't really get it um yeah i i don't know no there wasn't but he wanted to give he wanted to give him minutes and and, and get in some competitive action after being injured it is difficult with goalkeepers but yeah it it's not it's not good it's not good um not sure yet, but there will be stuff. I'm not. I'm not going to disappear for for for, for two weeks. Um, there there will be stuff on the channel. Any obviously any news that we get over the break will will be covered. And uh, yeah, I'll try I'll try and get some some guests and stuff on because yeah, we we need we need to we need to keep it going. Something 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 maybe a little bit different. Um, but you know, do you know what's mad? Right as well is that despite not playing that that great, um. You know, we, we we still find ourselves having made a Carabao Cup final and we're in the last four of another domestic cup. Uh, you know, the season's been really flawed, but we've managed, as I say, we've got to a domestic cup final. We're back at Wembley for another cup semi. And it is clear for me that when the tension and the pressure is high, we can deliver. Uh, but it's the games that everyone, you know, sort of half expects us to drop points in. We do, you know, when the pressure's down, we we can we can perform and do well. But when in the games we're expected to do well in, we we that that's where we tend to not do particularly well. So, yeah, it is it is it is a little bit of a problem all round. Um, I, I, I don't know how we change that. Uh, well, the Sassy himself, obviously. I think Sanchez's positioning could have been a little bit better, but yeah, it is it is what it is, unfortunately. International football is crap. More more time for the British media bringing up Southgate. Yeah, uh, Southgate's not going to. There's been no links with Southgate and Chelsea, so yeah, I, would, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about that at all. Um, hey, international break. As soon as international ends, we look like a completely different team. Well, yeah, look, we've gone into the break on a positive though, into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We just got to hope no one gets injured at Cobham during the break and no one gets injured on international duty. Uh that that's what we've got to that's what we've got to hope. Um But I'll tell you what I'll tell you what to uh I tell you what today did tell us though is that Sterling and Sanchez should be nowhere near this starting eleven. That is one thing that that we absolutely have found out today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's quite a few not on international duty. 
Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree on that. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I think he's progressing all right. You know, that he was always he was set to miss the whole season, so any anything else is a bonus. But yeah, I wouldn't expect to see him back until next season. Um do you see Chelsea being good next season under uh, uh, I'd like to think there'd be an improvement. You would think progress, like logically, there should be an improvement. But again, I, 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 I don't really, I don't really know. Is 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 the answer? Yeah, winnable games as well. Burnley home, Burnley and Man United at home, Sheffield United away. You know that that there. If we're if we're serious, then we should be winning. Uh, we should be. You know, we should be winning all those games. Are we going to win all three of those games? No, we absolutely... I can probably say right now, no, we won't. Um, but, yeah, it is It is. It is what it is. Um, Jackson's as good as a second striker or as a left wing. Oh, I wouldn't... Uh, yeah, uh, look... Can you try and get Matt Dav on it? Oh, yeah, we, yeah I, can, I, can, I can speak to Matty, see, see, see what he's... Uh, See, see what he's saying. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, he needs a stint on the bench. Absolutely needs a stint on the bench. Yes, big up, big up. Uh, we improve, but we step backwards again. I believe we'll improve massively in the next season. Yeah, look, I think I, I, I think we'll improve a lot next season as well, uh, for sure. But imagine if Coventry beats United in the semi final. Do you know the most uh, the, the most Chelsea thing to happen would be to for Coventry to win, I mean, look, you, you never know. You know. We could beat City and Coventry beat Man United. And you're thinking, wow, we've got an FA Cup final against Coventry. You never know. We have done well against the promoted club so far this season. So should really, Yeah, we should get six points from them too. Man United, we should be beating them at Stamford Bridge. But again, our record against Man United in the league is horror. It is absolutely shocking. Um, absolutely shocking. Um, but yeah. It is, it is it is what it is, people. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me see if there's anything else to go through before calling it before calling it a day. Um, I don't really think there's too much else to cover, guys. So probably gonna look to round this one out here. Big up to everyone that has tuned in. Appreciate each and every single one of you guys. Uh, on the way out, please smash the like button. We're on 80 likes. Let's get this as close to 100 likes as we can on the way out. Um, yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a great day. Um, Chelsea into the FA Cup semi-finals. They've got Man City at Wembley. Never say never. We have scored five goals against them this season. They haven't beaten us so far. We can cause them problems. Uh, yeah, more last-minute winners, more last-minute scenes. All good stuff. Delighted for Chukwameka, delighted for Madaweke. Um, But yes, things that need to improve. We've got the international break now, time to relax and, you know, regroup and, and, and go again uh, for the end of the season. But ultimately, we did what we needed to do today. Chelsea FA Cup semi-finalists, we're back at Wembley. There is a lot to improve on, but let's hope we can improve enough to, to beat Man City in the semi-final. Keep going with the league form. Um, and let's, let's just see where the season takes us. But this is a likable group of players, a lot of talent there. Um, and, you know, I think we, we, we will get there. I just don't know when it's going to be, but there is a lot to be positive about today. You know, let's be real, we won. That's what it was all about. But there were concerning things that, you know, need to improve and haven't looked like improving for a while now. But we're in the semi-finals. Let's enjoy it. Uh, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Have a good start to the week tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys again soon with some more content. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you again another one soon, guys. Up the Chelsea and peace out, people.